There we go. That might be an old whitey there. Swimming fast. Right to the stump. Oh, there. Oh, yep, white bass. How about that. Here's the first white bass this morning, guys. Lucky there. How about that? Woohoo! Pretty nice one. Number one. Hey, you fishing friends. Welcome back to eFishing. I'm Rodney, and today we're down here on the Salt River. The water temperature is creeping up into the mid to upper 50s, and the water still got a little stain to it. And we're going to check out and see what these white bass are doing, see if we can't get a few. Oops. I think the run's getting ready to start, so um, let's go fishing. What we got there? Another suckaway. Oh, that's a white bass. All right, there we go, white bass, number three. Yep, 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 that's a pretty decent one. How's that? I ran into a few. How about that? There we go, how about that? Another little one, how about that? Move on down. Well, there's another one, that's a little one. There we got that one on a little black fly. I don't know, be on to something with it. There we go. That's a better one. That's a pretty good one. Look at that. There we go. How about that? Ooh, that's a better one. How about that? He ate it too. Woo! Look at that. How about that? All right. There it is. figured it out with the old black fly another one. Oh, he got off oh my There we go, another small male. That's a pretty good one there. That's a pretty good one there. Up here. There we go. There we go. How's that, guys? Another pretty decent little old white bass. <clears throat> There's another little male. 
So one thing you can do if those fish kind of quit biting on you is to change colors. And that's what I've done here. That last fish I caught was on a blue <coughs> chartreuse jig. And uh, sometimes just changing that color can get you a few more bites out of a school if they're there. They Sometimes they get tuned in on the color you're throwing. So just make a color change and see if you can't catch a few more fish. Well, they're here, buddy. Just on the bottom. Another little one. Ooh, another one. So here's one more little tip I can give you with fishing these little jigs is to keep a bobber in your pocket. And every now and then, just put that bobber on, you know, 12 to 18 inches above your line and cast that thing out there. And sometimes they lock that thing under the bobber. There we go. That's a go. That one's got some shoulders to it. How about that. Oh yeah, that's a good one there. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Mm-hmm. Lucky there's a full grown one. Picture with that one. Ooh -hoo. How about that one? Y'all see it? Y'all see that thing? Woo! -hoo. How about that? There we go. Let's let this one go. You know the. Hmm. There it goes. Wow, oh, look at that thing. <laughs> oh my. That's the small one. Look at that. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's a good one. <clears throat> Back here. There we go. Woo, how's that? Mm-hmm. Oh, I caught a big one. Caught another big one. There he is. Another gigantic one. How about that? There we go. There we go. There we go. 
not that one. Woo! Well, that's gonna be a wrap for today. Um, we uh, put some white bass on the line today. Uh, we didn't get a lot of brill big ones. We caught a lot of small males, but that's typical with the first start of the run. So it's getting to going. Um, maybe here in another week or two, it'll be full blown. But anyways, uh, if you guys see me down here, say hi. I like to talk fishing, so um, I'll let you know what I'm doing. Anyways, I'm Rodney with E-Fishing. If y'all like it, give it a thumbs up. We'll uh, talk to you later. We're out.